my name is Mary Sweeney and I'm the program manager at the Arbor Day Foundation and I'm also a certified arborist. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about your member trees and just how to get them planted. When you get your member trees, they're going to come in a package similar to this. You're going to take out your trees and you're going to carefully untangle the roots. You're going to put it in water and you're going to soak these trees for about three to six hours. One important concept to keep in mind is right tree, right place. You want to make sure that the tree that you're planting has plenty of space where it can grow. So take a look around the area. Are there any buildings nearby? What about other trees that have been planted? Are there any power lines overhead that you need to be aware of? I tell people, look at pictures of what your tree is going to look like when it gets big so that you have an idea of just how much space you need for this tree. The first step in planting your tree is to remove the grass from a three foot area. So we've got it removed here. So you want to turn up the soil a little bit just to break up any roots that might be in here and to make sure that the soil has plenty of space here for the new roots on the tree to grow out. The next step in planting your tree is to dig your hole. You're going to want it to be about 18 inches wide. You're going to put it in the hole and you want to make sure that these very first roots that we call the root flare are right at ground level. A good way to measure that is to take your shovel, put it at ground level, and it goes across the span of the hole and so you can see this is exactly where we want to be planting this tree. You want to spread the roots out a little bit and then you're going to start backfilling with the soil that you just removed. You're going to want to make sure that the tree is firmly packed in here, not too tight that you remove all of the airspace within the dirt, but just enough so that the tree isn't going to move anywhere. Then you're going to water your tree in. You want to give it a good soaking and then wait just a moment to let all the water soak in. We want it to go down into the soil as opposed to out. One of the last important steps of planting a tree is to mulch the tree. You want to make sure that you get it around the tree here and you want to leave plenty of room so that none of it is touching the trunk of the tree. A good rule of thumb is to put about two to three inches of mulch around the tree and that's important because it helps to keep the moisture in the soil and it keeps any competition like weeds from growing up out of the dirt. If you're getting trees in the fall, you can plant them up until the ground is frozen solid. You may want to dig your holes before that just to make sure that the ground isn't hard by the time the trees arrive. Now if you're getting trees in the spring, you will be able to plant those trees after the very last freeze of the season.